Racetech Yamaha is at the forefront of design and innovation in the sport of jet ski angling. We caught up with Jordan O'Keefe from Racetech. Hi, I'm Jordan O'Keefe and um, I'm of Racetech Yamaha and Pantan. We're the, the title sponsors of, of the GoFish Classic now for three years. Very proud to be involved and these kind of competitions are, are really important for us. It allows us to get feedback from the consumer, from the fishermen and allows us to improve the products and better their experience out there. It's because of things like this that we've gone on to invent the things like the Racetech tubby behind me. Um, what, it, what it does is it gives uh, the fishermen more, more storage, more stability and it allows them to get those fish. So our latest addition to all of Racetech's innovations is now the Racetech cubby. The idea behind the Racetech cubby is that it's, it has the, uh, the properties of a cubby hole. So you've got a storage hatch where you can store your traces, you can store your lures, and then that prevents you from having to stand up and open the front lid and take on water. Another benefit of this now is that this is going to give you a, a, a waterproof housing to store your radio and it's in a quick and convenient place to get to the radio in, in, in such instances as an emergency. Yeah, we're manufacturing products and innovations and inventions for the jet skis to improve jet ski fishing and that's what make us, makes us the leaders out there. The growth is, has been unbelievable and the, the interest is, is just out of this world. Mozambique truly is one of the last great unspoilt wilderness areas right on our doorstep. The abundance of sea life is almost immeasurable, where one can view wild game right off the shore, from rays and turtles to game fish of all species and sizes. Go Fish supports sustainable fishing activities and urges every angler and ocean lover to practice responsible angling and catch and release when it's not for the pot, helping to save our oceans just a little bit more every time you use it. Don't forget to catch Go Fish at the National Boat Show featuring the Dive Expo from the 7th to the 9th of September at the Coca-Cola Dome in Johannesburg. So with the last hours of the day winding down, weather conditions had softened somewhat, but that was just the calm before the storm. Wasting no time to make a late charge, Mark Reeves had found a sweet spot, boating a beautiful kingfish while Jake Van Zell had clearly found the nursery.
Back with Mark Reeves again, and the Kingfish had come on the bite. A nice GT for himself, while this monster would take Byron Kane and his teammate Brett Van Lorn, shooting up the leaderboard and into the top three. This year we had some of the top jet ski fishermen in the country that came through. Uh, the likes of Clive Murphy, Marcus Porchita, Brad Arthur, all coming through and sharing the experiences and also their t tips and tactics with the guys um, at the event really added a whole new dimension to, this, to, to, uh, to the comp. Jet ski fishing has really, really boomed over the last year. Um, I mean, from, from last year's event we had 58 competitors to this year's event where we had to close the entries with three weeks to go. Um, this wouldn't be possible without our event sponsors. The team from Race Egg Yamaha, with Yamaha South Africa, Go Fish Magazine, Mass Core Toyota, uh, Chick Scrap Metals, Crabbies, Ecos, Boating Insurance, Skiport Supply, Pulsator Lures, Hulco Lures, who did the same, White Hot Media, Botma Sand, Dirty Dog, Island Tribe, Coco Rico, Aquajax, Snowmaster has sponsored some awesome freezers to the value of about 13 grand. Mozambique Tourism and Neil Woolworth Emoji. Kokoriko also really comes alive at night when the whole resort is filled with fishermen, um, all having a good couple of drinks and, and enjoying the atmosphere. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the event. Um, I think uh, Race Tech and Go Fish, they put up a very, very good show here. It was hard fishing and uh, we battled to get what we wanted, but persistence paid off. And uh, I mean, continuous try, 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 and at the end of the day, you, you get what you want, yeah. Thanks for a good comp. Yeah, no, look, um, it's been an awesome weekend, and you get fish like that, and it's just, uh, you know, that's what keeps, keeps you coming back at all the time, man. So yeah, I really stoked to I mean, be back next year again, for sure. And thanks to, uh, thanks to Race Tech and to, um, Go fish for putting it together, it's a huge effort and I uh, really appreciate it and it's getting better and better every year. The scores were tallied up and the winner was decided. Niels Barkhazen had let his lead slip to Byron, but Peter Steenkamp had quietly gotten on with his business and snuck through from fourth position the night before to take an unassailable lead at the top. The third annual Race Tech Yamaha Jet Ski Fishing Class is proudly presented by Mascore Toyota, Krabby's Alcoholic Ginger Beer, ICOS Insurance and Chick Scrap Metal.